Why, hello there, traveler. Just like you, we've had Machu Picchu on our minds. You know, that mysterious little city in the clouds, the one over a million people from around the world visit every year? Ah, yes, that one. Well, we've got some good news and some bad news. The good news? There are countless ways to hike to Machu Picchu. The bad news? There are countless ways to hike to Machu Picchu. And so, it's time to answer the age-old question. Should you hike the Inca Trail or the Salcantay Trek to Machu Picchu? Let's start with the basics. The renowned Inca Trail has several typical durations to choose from, but most will opt for the classic four-day trek, which will allow you to bask in nature while also passing by impressive Inca ruins like Runcuraquay. In total, you'll be covering 45 kilometers over four days and three nights, walking anywhere from six to nine hours per day until the fourth and final day, in which you will only walk about two hours before finally reaching Machu Picchu. On the other hand, you have the Salcantay Trek, which you can use to reach Machu Picchu over a five-day period. You'll begin in the foothills of Marco Casa and end at the train station in Hidroelectrica. Keep in mind that if you're taking the Salcantay Trek, you should expect a more strenuous climb thanks to the rougher terrain and steeper ascents and descents. In total, you'll be hiking roughly 74 kilometers nearly 30 kilometers more than the Inca Trail. In other words, this one is not for the faint of heart. Of course, each trail offers its own unique challenges and rewards. For the Inca Trail, it's day two when you reach Dead Woman's Pass. At 4,215 meters, it's the highest point of the trail and by far the most grueling to reach. The hardest part of the Salcantay trek also arrives at day two, because that's when you'll reach the Salcantay Pass, which boasts a dramatically high elevation of 4,600 meters, even higher than Dead Woman's Pass. The climb pays off, rewarding you with some truly spectacular views. If you value your alone time, consider the Salcantay trek over the Inca Trail. The latter is trekked so frequently that the Peruvian government has taken two steps to remedy overcrowding. They only release 500 permits per day to would-be hikers and they close access to the trail every February in order to complete conservation work. This is very different from the Salcantay trek, where fewer crowds means there's no need for the government to regulate the traffic that causes the daily limits on the Inca trail. The Salcantay Trek is also famous for its impressive scenery, with better chances of spotting deer, chinchillas and spectacled bears thanks to the lower foot traffic. You'll also be able to take in stunning views of the Andes while trekking through lush valleys and dense jungles. While on the Inca Trail, you'll experience everything from cloud forests to intriguing ruins like Winewena, and of course jungles, orchids, birds and butterflies. Unfortunately, you'll have a much lower chance of seeing bigger wildlife because of the crowds. Campsites will also be busier than you might prefer, especially during peak season. Machu Picchu and the Inca Trail are busiest in July and August, but any time between May to October will strike a favorable balance between weather and crowds. Alternatively, the Salcantay Trek can be hiked year-round, depending on how much rain and mud you can tolerate. The ideal time to go is more or less the same as the Inca Trail season, but late April or early October are great times for trekking to avoid the rain and trail congestion. And finally, to keep things simple, you can use an identical packing list for either trekking route. The most important thing to remember is to pack as lightly as possible, prioritizing rainproof gear. You can download our free detailed packing list in the description below. Once you know what you'll need to conquer this adventure, you can decide exactly which direction to head in. Will it be the Inca Trail or Salcantay Trek calling your name? If you're still seeking inspiration, then watch another video and visit us on days to come. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Feeling generous? Let your friends know how you got so worldly by sharing this video. 
Leave a comment down below if you have your own trekking tip to share with the world. And until next time, happy travels.